What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today we're going to take a look at this unique vacuum powered coffee brewer called the Frank One. And it comes from a company called Frank De Paula, and I'm just really curious if a machine that sounds more like a robot butler can actually make a good cup of coffee. But it works very simply. You put your coffee in, add your water, then when you apply the vacuum pressure, it will pull the water through your coffee bed, therefore extracting your coffee. So let's find out how that really works. Inside the box, you'll find two major components, the glass canister and the brew unit itself. The brew unit does use a mesh filter, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it is replaceable, so that's a good sign. Another pretty major component is the charging cable. So if you're not aware, this is actually a rechargeable battery inside this vacuum pump. So plug it into a USB. On the back side of the actual brew unit, you've got a waterproof cap that you'll remove to expose the charging port. And once you're fully plugged in, flip it over. And if there's a red light, it means it's charging. Once the red light turns off, you're ready to brew. First up, we're going to make some cold brew based on their recipe. So they recommend a fine grind. I'm gonna use the bottom end of the espresso grind, so that's a 20 for the niche. We're using this Costa Rica, which has some nice chocolate notes as well as fruit notes, which will be a nice test for the extraction overall. And then we're gonna grind all this coffee up, drop the coffee in the chamber, give it a nice shake to flatten the bed, and then we're gonna begin adding our water. I'm using room temperature water as it says in the directions and we're going to use 300 milliliters which is up to that bottom little hash mark inside the brew chamber. From there give it a quick stir to break up any clumps and then we're going to let it sit for four minutes. At four minutes we're ready to brew and we'll just let it do its thing. It's definitely best to keep your eye on your grinds so once all the moisture is gone you turn off the pump and you don't run it dry. And the final product looks like coffee so let's give it a try and see what it's like. The cold brew itself is actually pretty good. It has a nice level of sweetness, but it doesn't quite fill the cup with that bold, intense flavor that you would expect from cold brew and just tastes just a little bit light. And after testing the TDS on this, it comes back with a pretty low score of 15.71%. Next up, we're brewing hot coffee, and this one calls for a medium fine grind. The way I see it is it's right at the end of the filter and drip portion on the niche. This one also calls for less coffee, so I'm getting 20 grams of coffee ready to go, grinding it up, and we're gonna get rolling. Just like before, grinds go in, give the whole unit a quick shake to flatten the bed, then we're gonna add our water. This one calls for 340 milliliters of water, which is the middle mark on the inside of your brew chamber. From here, we're gonna wait about 30 seconds, give it a quick stir to break up any clumps and make sure we got a nice clean extraction, and then we're gonna press the brew button. The hot coffee itself actually turns out really good. It has a nice profile that kind of falls between French press and clever, which you get a nice heavy body from the mesh filter and some nice clarity from the coarser grind. And as expected, the extraction was significantly higher due to using hot water, landing it at a more than acceptable 22.80%. But since it's summer and the cold brew was kind of underwhelming, I'm going to split the difference and make some flash brew. And this time I'm gonna run it at a one to 15 ratio using 23 grams of coffee, using 105 grams of ice and 245 grams of hot water. But I'm also going to apply some other techniques here. I'm gonna use about 50 grams of the water in the beginning to do a small bloom, stirring all the grounds in to make sure they're all saturated. At about 30 seconds, I'll start pouring in the rest of the water and topping it off at about 245 grams. From there, I'm gonna give it another quick stir to make sure all the grounds are saturated and things are moving nicely. And at about a minute 30, I'm gonna start my brew. After about two minutes, everything should be totally brewed through. Then you can remove the top, give it a quick stir to melt the rest of your ice, and you're ready to serve. The flash brew is considerably better than the cold brew option. The hot water brewing creates a fuller flavor with increased brightness, which is ideal for coffees with more fruity or floral forward flavors. Plus, the extraction came out to a much more reasonable 18.85%. In the end, I'm pleasantly surprised with the Frank One. It's definitely not going to replace a well done pour over, but it's not a bad option. Honestly, it's better than most French presses I've had and takes an equal to or lesser amount of time to prepare and brew. But it does have a couple downsides. One is it costs $75, which is pretty steep for what it actually is. Plus, I wish there was a simpler way to clean it out. 
the vacuum pressure really seals the grinds down into the chamber and it just won't knock out into the garbage. The directions say to rinse it under the sink, but I'd highly recommend scraping out the majority of the grounds with your stir stick or something else. Your plumbing will thank you. And with that said, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on vacuum brewing? Are you willing to pay a premium for a unique product like this over something less expensive like the French press, Clever, or AeroPress? Are things like this a novelty or the way forward? Let me know your thoughts down below, and as always, I'll see y'all next week. And a big thank you to my July Patreons, Ads, James B, David, Hamad, Christopher, John K, Squeegee, Roe, Brian, Lisa, Thomas B, Andre, Rick Racer, Sean, Joey, Thomas S, Noel, Spookus, Bound Coffee, Mika, Samantha, Nathan, Aiden, Jonathan, Claire, Steven, James K, Josh, Andrew, Ollie, Ninja Warrior Coffee, Testing123, Horison, Bobby, Corey C, Curry, Dave B, Jerry, Marcus, Nicholas, Paul, RD, Tim, Matt, Tony, Zachary V, Tyler, Jonathan B, and UK Espresso. And of course, a big thank you to the barista and barback tiers. If you want any information on my Patreon, there's a link in the description and in the upper right hand corner right now. And lastly, a big thank you to you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Follow my Instagram at Prometheus for content throughout the week. My blog at Prometheus.com. My coffee at LittleGiant.coffee. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.